I'm going to show you some basic tips to help you refine your search when using Google Scholar. So I'm going to type in the um, topic climate change and see what results I get. As you can see I've got three and a half million results so that's an awful lot and I'll need to refine this down further. The next thing you can do is if you put in some quotation marks, some double quotation marks around the topic, it will turn it into an exact phrase and it will search for articles just with those two words together and you can see I've got a lot fewer results there again now. Still a lot so we're also going to add another um, search term to go with it and this should hopefully give us fewer results again so now we've got down to 254,000 so just by doing exact phrase searches and adding specific keywords we can refine our search if you wanted to use the advanced search you go to the menu just there in the top left hand corner and advanced search is at the bottom now we can populate some more fields here to give us better results it's already added in the word Bangladesh which we've put in and the exact phrase climate change but you can also add other words you can search by author or publication I'm going to look for a recent article so I've put in the current year in the year field and clicked search and now we've got just under 17,000 results so these are really quick ways of um, accessing more relevant articles now I came to Google Scholar via the online library page of StudyNet so I, I found it through my subject toolkit or through the A to Z list of search sources and this means I can access full text links as I'm authenticated as a UH member to access paid for subscriptions you won't be able to access these if you get to Google Scholar just through your browser so you'll be able to see as we scroll through the list there are some articles that say full text at UH next to them so I'm just going to click on that link and it should take us straight through to a, um, a full text version and you'll be able to see that's because we're a a Hertfordshire student so it says we've it knows that we're part of UH and you can read the article or download a PDF as you would do normally and to come out of that just close that tab that pops up in and you should be able to get back to your list of results from Google Scholar